What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dem. It's your boy, Renz, and guess what? It's a whole new... It's a whole new way. You gotta work on it, bro. Next time, bro. I'm telling you. It's getting better, though. Vocal coaching, innit? Trust me. <laughs> we say it, though. We say it, though. We Listen, it. we got a special guest today. Episode number five. We made it. Five episodes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Big up Toka Social for having us today. Every time. Listen, special guest, Paigey Keiki. I'm saying, bro. Actress. Accolades. Rapper. Singer. Influencer. Beer things. Entrepreneur. And a swag. Anyway, we'll talk I'm about that Listen, one. Off-White. Sponsorship. <laughs> Sponsor her right now. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, but feel listen, me. we're going to get into this anyway. So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And let's go. Go. All right, cool, guys. Welcome to Wave Time. Yeah, Welcome. I've got the yak here. Yeah. First and foremost, you got to swirl it in it. Yeah, swirl it in it. <laughs> hey, G, thank you for coming through. Thank you, man. What are you saying? How are you? I'm good, you know, I'm just out here looking at the food. All I want to do is, is eat. Really? <laughs> you're saying you're just tempted right now? I'm tempted. No, talk, I can't let the presentation, it's nice. It I'm is, it's very nice. You and that on your macaroni. It's looking mad. It's looking real crispy as well. You say no, man, how you been though lately, man? How you been, well, I'll say, over the COVID? It's not even COVID for It's mad as I say it, because for you, I feel like, I'm like, you're actually mad active, you know? I've been out, yeah. I've been living my life from the beginning. Everybody knows this. I've been travelling. I set up a few businesses. I've got a little food business, Killy Bites. Congratulations. I've, got the, I've seen the Killy yeah. Bites and the Killy... Killy Shades. And the sunglasses. Yeah. yeah, so I sell sunglasses. I make food for, like, pop-ups, cater, catering things. Yeah. I need one so of them. So, you know, if you not need the food, milk. you know, I've got the curry girl, I've got the burgers, I've got the oxtail. Well, out of 10, how are you rating it? 11 out of 10. Well, how's uh, my food is solid, like how's it's Nanny's been? recipes. Man? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Proper yeah. thing. You know it's proper thing. They made that listening to Burris Ham and Reds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's made with love. It is. So I want to like kind of go back because when um, me and Des were doing some research, mm-hmm. you've actually been in the scene for quite a long time when you deep it. Yeah. And I feel like you've digged into a lot of different, different. sectors. Mm-hmm. Now, how was it when you were first coming out though? Because Social media wasn't as big as it was, but you had a mad buzz because everyone knew. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but I feel like coming out when I came out was harder than now. 100%. Because we didn't, obviously we've got Instagram and Snapchat and that, but when I came out, it was just Twitter and Facebook. We had Instagram, but no one was using Instagram mm. for like, like that, yeah. to push music or anything. That didn't exist. Plus you couldn't put videos on Instagram. Mm. Remember, there was no story. It was yeah, just right. photos. Right, so therefore right. Instagram was irrelevant. It was literally just Twitter and YouTube, so I used to rely on Twitter to tweet the links to my music videos and stuff. Mm. But now I'm seeing we've got all these platforms, TikTok. There's so much. TikTok is making people go number one. Do you know what I mean? When I came out, there wasn't no TikTok. Mm. None of these things existed. So I'd say it's a lot easier now. But it's been nice to see it. And somehow I've remained relevant. People always say this. I don't realise, but somehow I've remained relevant. Are you, ten, are you 10 years deep yet? Nine. 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 2022, I would have been out here for 10 years. Because you dropped your first mix in 2012. Yeah, yeah. that's when I came out the same year, yeah. Was that when, who was you with them? Was you with AR? Was it AR? Them times? No, I was with them always in 2014. Mad. Yeah. See, I feel like I've been there. <laughs> yeah, through, everyone's through seen my journey. I've been out here. Waterloo Road, what? 2012. Is that 2012? Yeah. Like, that's when it all started. The when only I, reason I used that. to watch Waterloo Road, yeah, is because there was a guy called Denzel. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my name, and I was uh, like, I never knew no one else called I'm Denzel. Done. I was like, yeah, that's Denzel my show. Washington. <laughs> that's mad, though. It's like, it's mad how you've been dipping into different pockets, like I said. But, like, at what certain point did you feel like, I don't know, I'm in a road where it still could be a music thing, but I do like the acting, or was it, I'm just going to... It's the balance. Balance it out. Honestly, the only reason why I dropped out acting is because I, ha- I was with an agency mm-hmm. and it's like I just wasn't getting auditions and it was just because I was a small fish in a big pond with mm. big sharks around me. So I was like one of the smaller names. Mm. I was with United Agents, which is top three in yeah, the country, yeah. but I was too small to be in that agency. Mm. So I kind of just, I fell out of love with it and I just fell into love with music and then I started going hard on the music. Then I fell out of love with music. And then you went back? No, and now I, and then I kind of just dived into the influencer thing, not knowing what to expect, and I I love it. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm just more than a musician. I feel like I'm a brand. Yeah, because you tick like, a lot of boxes. You yeah, do. like yeah. I like talking. I don't just want to perform. I I literally like doing other things. I'm mad creative, but I don't just want to do music and acting. So 
I wanted to dive into different avenues and it's worked. It's so working. That's a gem. For, <laughs> <laughs> that's a gem for the viewers. Yeah. Man. Gem no matter what you want to do, just do it. Don't let no one tell you nothing. Just no, do of it. course. But saying that though, I can't lie. Like what? You and Gekko should drop a mixtape or something. I can't even lie. Do you know what? It was back, a plan. It was a plan? Yeah, it was man. a plan. It's something that we should follow through it's with. It's Valentine's Day thing. <laughs> The maddest thing is a bit shout. Do you know what the thing is? We've probably got enough songs to make a little EP anyways. Mad. Yeah. In the archives. Yeah, there's just oh. bare things that we start, don't finish. All right, let's dig into this. Let's actually smells this. like a Dorito. Listen, Dorito with salmon. Let's go. Oh my God. Mm-mm. No. Mm. This is 10 out of 10 for me. He's banging. He wasn't lying, you know. It's banging. So mm. i got a question, yeah? Mm-hmm. Up to date, what would you say is that? One of your biggest achievements? I can't remember what year it was, but maybe like 2015, maybe even 2013, that opened up for Little Kim and Eve. Mad. At the um, Indigo O2. Mm. And to me, that's one of the biggest things I've ever done. Because obviously, I'm a female in yeah. a male-dominated scene, and it's like, I grew up listening to them too. Legends. And I just, yes, they're legends, and I just love seeing females do big things, innit? Mm. So when I opened up for them, it was amazing. Didn't get to meet Lil Kim, but I met Eve. She gave me some good words of wisdom. But yeah, it was just really, really nice to mm. open up for them. And that's probably the biggest thing in my head that I've done. I feel like you have open doors. As mm. I said, you've got numerous new artists coming through. Shea Bow, IBD, Miss La Familia. Mm. They're all sick artists, but I feel like you was one of the first to do it. No, but it's mad Especially because... Especially of this new gen as well. Yeah, it's mad because I've never actually thought about it like that. I see Miss Dynamite as opening doors. 100%. And then um, mm. when I was coming in, it was like Lioness, um, No Lay, mm. Lady Leisha, yeah. um, Miss Brat. Like there was bare people. So then Miss I see Brat, them, you know? yeah, them lot wow. open the doors. And then I feel like I was that next generation that came. But I kind of went into their generation. Mm. When I think about it, I came between them and like your Miss Bank, Steph, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of them. I never really thought about opening doors, but I'm sure, I thought maybe I have played a part in maybe inspiring some females. Mm. I mean, some, some of them have said it to me, like in DMs, mm. like I've done a little doc with um, IVD and mm. she said it to me. But at the same time, I support her thing big in it. She's like my little sister, so mm. I appreciate that. We're from the same area, Hackney. Well, yeah. yeah. So me, that. IVD, Listen. Steph, all from Hackney. Pick up the Hackney. Yeah, man, pick up the, the Hackney gal. Every time. Mm -hmm. No, but it's true what you said though, because I feel like some people like play a gamble when they're doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But with you, you kind of kept a good balance with it as well. Because anything that, honestly, we see you in, it's not like, ah, oh, yes, she's forcing this. Yeah. She's forcing that. Like, you've, you've you put whatever, like you said, you're <laughs> Yeah. You put it in and you're like, cool, this is, this is her thing. It's like yeah. she's solidified herself in two different bags, or maybe a few different Speaking bags. Speaking of bags, what shopping bags? Because listen, your plugs. Cause shopping bags. I need a shoe, I need a shoe plug. pattern. The Do you know the maddest thing is for the shoe pattern? No, but you've got the custom, you know what it is, it's your custom it's joints. Custom oh, the custom thing is it's my guy Gibbs. So oh, like he literally, Gibbs. Gibbs. Gibbs, like he does all my, my air forces that have the strap on it yeah. and that. Like, he does that. In fact, I've got a next thing coming. Like he's designing <laughs> yeah, me a next thing right now. Yeah. And then like all the trainers that everybody else has got, it's either raffles, I buy them off resellers, stock X. When I go to New York, I go to that flight club and all them shops mm. and foot lockers. So what are you, you going to spend a bag in that kit game? You say, you ready for the kick game, call up? You better drop a discount, you listen, drop a discount. Listen, when I saw, what's his name, RD in it? Yeah. Oh yeah. He kept, he it, kept it so real. Listen, and he ended up getting it for free. Yeah, it? I saw that the other day. My, I would have done exactly what he done. I'm yeah, not paying, but what, someone what, might what buy that, five, seven back? <laughs> you had three doors spend like 30. Uh, 30 racks. But he, he invested in his company, so. Yeah, so it Part ownership. <laughs> Part ownership. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, I can't pay that much for trainers. What's the most do you think you spent on a trainer? The ones I've got on my feet now. I spent a thousand pound on the Jordan 4 off whites. Size three as well. Two and a half women's. Two and a half. Wow. Equivalent you might as well to wear Junior three. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bag. Yeah. And do you want to know what's mad? I've had four pairs of these. This one came out of the box today. So if you look at the sole, it's still new. Mad. Yeah, and I only took it. What she said. Uh, this one stop. came out of the box she, today. She'll go, kick him. Wait, she'll go kick him and not splash out. But no, cool. no. But these trainers I love. No, like, and I'm I always mess them yeah. up. So I keep getting another one. If I buy them, I'm only wearing them inside. Well, I only wore these because I knew we was filming. I thought, ah, oh, let me just make it. Let me drip it. Like, let me drip it, make it fresh and... Clap for Paige, man. She made an effort. She made an effort, too. She made an yeah, effort, child. man. I appreciate make it. Make sure you don't do the football thing in those Oh, days. hell no. Hell no, man. No but, way. What you got planned? What you got planned, though? What's the next big thing um, for Paige? Well, I'm off to Greece on Saturday. Mm -hmm. 
to shoot a YouTube, it's a new YouTube series. I'm not going to tell you what it's called. You'll mm -hmm. see what it's called when mm -hmm. it comes out. Watch and out. it's like loads of like influencers and TikTokers and mm. musicians and we're all going over there. There's like six um, groups and we're all going to be doing like water sport challenges. Mm. Sounds Like on sick. the beach, like every day for six days and just shooting content and stuff. So make sure you're watching my Snapchat and my Instagram. I'll be there, I'll be there. Um, I'll be there in spirit. Yeah. Other, <laughs> other than that, I've got like a mixtape that I'm going to drop called Killy. Yeah, I'm Jeez. really trying to push this brand, Killy. Killy, yeah. So everything's Killy. Obviously, Killy just means like my people, my Killy, innit? Yeah, it's yeah. like ha and, Hackney slang, I would yeah. say. Anyway. And so like, I want Killy to be like, everything I do is for you and your people. That's why I'm calling everything Killy, because it's, it's for you and your peeps. 100%. So, yeah, I want to start doing brunches and stuff. Like, I used to do events You're and they, they were the going shop, off. You know? I'm definitely going to open the shop. We're here, we're hosting, we're hosting. Yeah, so, Just yeah. Give me some chicken. I'll get you lot. 100. But this yeah, is I, I want to do brunches and stuff, but I want to make the food and I want people to come down, you know, DJ, we've got the host here. <laughs> Photographer here, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we, we got, got shab, we got yeah. shab. Hey, Paige Kiki headquarters coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, but like, it's great to see you elevating, though. Honestly, yeah, you get me. Like, you seem like you, you, you know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Now, how you gonna get there? I can't, I can't yeah. do that, but I put Listen, it. all I need to do is just get the followers up, like Paige. That's it. The snap. That's views. it. Um, do you know? What? I'll give you one trick. This is for everyone watching at home. Make reels on Instagram. You heard it here first. You heard Make it some here reels. first. Hey, we're making a reel after this. And big up White Yardy for telling me this as well. He's a G. He told me that, yeah. Big up White Yardy. I just wanted to share some gems. Make reels, because your reels end up on home pages. Ooh. So Excellent. you get more, more people see your stuff. Yeah. You get more interaction making reels. Than like posting photos yeah. and videos. Yeah, way more. Nice. You'll even get more views on that than videos that you put on your page. You know what I heard, yeah? It's mad. You I didn't know that picture. until you told you me. You post a picture on your grandma or whatever. If you go back to edit it, it messes up, mess up the algorithm. It messes up the algorithm. Does it? Apparently yeah. so. But it's like a re edit. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm just thinking I done that the other day. I exactly. edited my caption Better to check, add in the makeup check, artist. Check them inside. Check them inside. <laughs> yeah, I ruined it. I ruined it. But listen. Listen to any aspiring influencers and that. You got some gems from Paige. No, facts, man. Write that in your notes and you better make it happen. Mm. Save, save her back for them Jordans. Cause I'm telling you, because they don't come cheap. They, they, they don't. They don't. That's four bags, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, <laughs> we're going to finish this off. Get me. And we're going to get into some challenges. You get Jeez. me? See what your, your kick game is. I need to digest before I play yeah, that kick game. Man. Yeah? You're good. Don't worry, man. You're good, man. <laughs> but yeah, that salmon went down the tree, you know? It did, it did. <laughs> I can't lie. Big up Toko for that, but stay Jeez. tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Jeez. Right, guys. Welcome to part two of Wave Time Backtrack. Mm -hmm. Listen, we've got two musical geniuses in the building. Oh, <laughs> we've got Paigey Keiki. And Mr. Lorenzo, yeah, DJ. And DJ, DJ runs for this one, my whole yeah. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, how you feeling, Paige? You ready for this one? I'm ready, but I'm actually a bit nervous. You it's know? Yeah, this one should be a bit silent. Yeah, I'm telling you. I know it's hard. You know what it is? She's trying to prepare herself mentally. Yeah, yeah? I mean, I'm trying to get in the zone. And Ren's yeah, over I'm here. Nervous. Listen. I'm confident. It, there's no I'm DJ big. decks in, di in this one, you know? Calm, it's it's got to come with chess. Listen, listen to the subliminals and that. For real. But anyway, listen, let's get straight into this one. Backtrack. We'll be playing the song backwards and the guy's got to guess what tune it is. So, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we paid. Ah. Uh. Little baby, 42 yeah. dollars. Yeah, when I heard it, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the thought came Am into her singing? brain so quick. I don't quick. even know the name of the song, but I know the song. I, I yeah. was just going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I right, listen, that was quick, Renz, oh, man. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, gave it off. Listen, Paige, you don't have it, you know. Okay. All right, cool. DJ, track number two. Oh, um, you said about me, I'm in a love. You said you're a company. I'm whiskey and I can't remember what the song's even called. She's right. But yeah, whiskey. You gotta got get the name. You gotta get the um, name. You're right, though. You're on the right track. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Bad energy, slip. Bad energy, energy, bad energy. Slip far away, I'll give it to him. Far away. Give it yeah, man, we give that one Wait, to Paige. Why you far away? Ooh, 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 hold on. Eh? Why do I feel like I'm in this one? It's pop smoke. Can I say if you didn't get go, it? No, I'll go. Hot smoke, woo. She wanna make me the woo. That's 2-1, 2-1 page. You get it. me? I give it. Woo walking. Woo, woo. <laughs> uh, this one. Jean Paul temperature, move. Move, move. 
How can he hear that? I couldn't even hear it. I couldn't even hear it. Come on, listen, listen. Yeah, there I would have got it, but I couldn't hear it. Did you Listen, Renz. You see, yeah, you're in I take a, I'm telling you, this guy, he must use a flipping cotton bud this morning. Yeah, <laughs> listen, I, I didn't, I have, I didn't hear <laughs> nothing. I didn't even know the song was playing. Did you hear that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Renz didn't try to lose that. You got that A1 hearing. Yeah, we're jury, we're tired. <laughs> right, cool, listen. 2-2, two, two, we're tired at the moment. DJ, when you're ready, track number five, let's go. Oh, I know this one. I don't know what this is called. Huh? What is it? What's, what's the feeling? What's the feeling? What's the feeling? What's the feeling? Who sings it? What's the feeling? Who sings that? I don't have a clue. No name? Cooling in the night. Satin coolers. Right. Satin coolers. You're right, Renz. I give you that Satin one. Coolers. Listen, we've got night coolers. Oh, we've got the night coolers. Push oh, the Friday feeling. Night. Yes. <laughs> Paige bobbing her head. It just sounds like a trap beat. For the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know yeah. it is. I need to hear someone yeah. say Satin. Yeah. Is it gigs? No. Oh. I'm You ready? Look, 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 look. I'm not giving it a hit. Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> she basically got it. Take gigs. It. Well, Drake gigs. KMT. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> bang on. If you know, you know. I don't know the names of songs. Round number seven. Three. Oh, this three. Is the last round. Yeah, this the last one. Last one. This is track number That's seven. A good one. All right, it's a banger as well, you know. I don't know if you listen to this artist, but listen, DJ, let's go, man. When you're ready. Travis Scott. Highest in the room. Move. Move. Wait. Move. Listen, Move. Reds is moving. My suspect, yeah? You see me? You he see me? Reds. No, because you know it is. When I take your music, yeah? You got to listen to the whole thing. Play it, play it. Can you play it? Listen to it. Listen, I would have went to the next track by then. But I, I would have recognised the voice, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what song it is. It's the instruments, it's not about the voice. Hey, oh, nah. Anyway, Renz, <laughs> I give you that one. Renz is the winner, yeah? Well done, Paige. You, you done well, you Thank done well. You. Big up your thing. <laughs> listen, that was backtrack. Renz cheated, but listen, <laughs> I'm not having that win. You know what it is, yeah? He answered bare songs before the song even got into it. I'm a DJ, bro. You what was going I'm on. a DJ. What, the DJ in reverse? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, listen, that was backtrack. Paigey, how do you think you done? I think I done good. I thought I wasn't going to get none, but I got three in it, so... I told you. It's going to be better yeah. than you thought you were. I feel on. good now. Big flex. We <laughs> ready for segment three? Yeah, man, ready for segment three. For the techers. Let's go, man. Right, welcome to segment three of Wave Time mm -hmm. Tsunami Techers. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah. I see a couple of clips of Paige on the gram doing one two kickups and that. With my right, with my right foot. Right only. Right yeah, only. my leg, my left, my leg, left leg don't work. Just the standing leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah the standing leg. Yeah. It's just there for the vibes. How you yeah. feeling, Renz? I'm here. I'm you ready, ready to take this one? I'm coming for that PB that you got, you know. Oh, yeah. We'll see, man, because I'm going to last this time no, round. I actually forgot what I got. It was too high. Oh, get out of here! Stop, stop, no pressure start the cap. No pressure. I got this. I think I'll make it underneath. But listen, we're going to get straight into this one. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's go. For real. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Lace it. Next one. Oh. Ah, uh, sorry, striker. <laughs> Rune. Jeez. Swear down. You got the, the hex. You ain't get it. Right foot. Ah. See. Touch. You ain't got it, coach. Oh, my days. You're getting points, there. Wow! What? Oi! What'd you get? Ah, uh, it's pressure. What are you saying? You ready, Paige? It's pressure because he got a hexagon thing. Yeah, I can't land. What does? What? Two. One fifty. Oi! Ah! Oops. Why did I get nothing? Go, go, go! We're right here with the toe. Let's Listen. go. Listen. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Touch. Bow. Quality. Boy. Number one, you gotta beat Renz for this one. Oh, you got it. You got 600. 
You win it. Right, listen, it's my goal. Let's go, man. They always work for me. Get on this Uh, he actually thinks hitting it makes sense. Look, look, look. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the mic. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, my ooh. God. Oh, no. You might as well get it now. Ooh, ooh. You got it. One more. For the kill. Ooh. You won. Okay. Yeah, you won this one still. Ooh. I said it. I said it. Rens, the joint. You've done us proud. I'm actually, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually nah, proud. Man, that's proud. Round of applause. Round of applause. You've done your thing, so. I can't lie, you came through here yeah, with a staggering. Is it 800? No, 600. 700? 600, have you done that? She was honest, she was honest, she was honest. I'm honest. A cool six billards. So you know what that means, yeah? Jeez. Look, look look, look. We're in a good position right there. You know what it is? Now, it's when you just skipped over bare guys. <laughs> Look. Jeez. So you know what's mad? Excluding us here, you're technically second. Why are you? So that means MK3, Dooms, D double. double, chicken. Let's get on. You need to eat some more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you need some more protein. I know, I'll give it to them, don't it? For this, look. Boom! You hear me? One, zero. We'll just remix that. There you go. He's finally caught on my level. Wow. Finally. Wow. It's Mr. Start. Look at that. Big up this old page, man. I can't like whoever comes And I'm the only girl as well, so. Yeah, so, so you held it down. Hey, come on. You held it down. Yeah. Everyone's got a bar to set, innit? I can't like. Look how she done it. Let's look. Take the look. Get the camera again. Take the look. Look, look. Change on all sorts, you know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Paigey, I want to thank you for coming through. Thank man. you, man. Had a Have good a good time. day. You get me? I appreciate you for coming on the show. Wave time. One of the waving, so listen. Hey. We're going to be right to get you on the show. We're going to be right. And listen, big up Talk of Socials every time. Like, comment, subscribe. We gone.